How is the Apple Cart one of the most misunderstood and underrated cards available? And how can you use it to earn that sweet cash back and build your credit? Hey, just call me Cal. Welcome back to the channel. I cover topics that save and earn you money, and I'm on a mission to earn you the most cash back. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Apple Card. I'll break down its rewards and features, pros and cons, and who this card is a best fit for, and how they can use it effectively. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. The Apple Card earns you up to 3% cash back and is completely free to use. Remember, to get the most cash back, you need to pay that statement balance each month. So let's get into rewards and features. You're getting 3% daily cash back at Apple, Uber, Uber Eats, Walgreens, Nike, Panera Bread, Exxon Mobil, and in-store purchases at T-Mobile. You're getting 2% back at a few dozen stores and websites, and you'll be getting 1% back everywhere else. You also get access to 0% financing for large purchases at the Apple Store for up to 24 months. Let's talk pros and cons. Amazingly, this card comes with only a requirement for a 600 credit score. This makes the credit card very accessible to anyone with fair credit and above. The rewards you earn can be redeemed the day after the transaction closes. Typically, you'd have to wait until your monthly statement closes to gain access to that money you earned. It's almost like getting paid at the end of every workday. That would be nice. The app has a beautiful user interface with expense tracking and budgeting tools. Your transactions are broken down by category with color codes for easy tracking. And the app allows you you to import most if not all of your debit and credit cards for easy contactless payments. Putting all of your cards directly into your phone can be very convenient, especially if you're using multiple cards for different purposes. So if you're buying an expensive iPhone using the Apple installment plan, you'll still be earning that 3% cash back. That's amazing because with many other cards, you can only use one feature at a time. Either you pay in full and receive cash back or you choose installment payments and pay over a long period of time with 0% interest. Here, you're able to get the best of both worlds, essentially buying your iPhone at a 3% discount and then having the ability to pay it off over two years, interest-free. If you're buying the iPhone 12 Pro Max, that's a saving of over $30. This is a situation where carrying a balance just doesn't matter. If you have good to excellent credit, then you should definitely look elsewhere. You have a much better selection of higher earning cards to choose from. Apple has major restrictions on where you can earn that two to 3% rate. You must be using an iPhone to tap and pay at a register connected to Apple Pay and then choose the Apple Card as your selected payment method to earn those higher rates. And Android users who make up 45% of the US market are completely left out. There are only eight places that you can earn the 3% rate at, and there are only a few dozen places that you can earn the 2% rate at. That leaves out some big companies like Walmart and Amazon. The best 2% cards achieve that 2% rate across the board. There are a handful of store cards that will offer you between five and 10% back on most Apple products, like the B&H Photo store card and the Amazon store card. But both of those cards are gonna require a significantly higher credit score. So who is this card the best fit for and how do you use it effectively? First off, they definitely have to be an iPhone user who has a fair credit score between 600 and 700. Any higher and you should be looking at better options. This card really shines when you use it alongside the Discover It card, which is the best starter card on the market because it offers higher cashback returns and it can be used at many more companies. Use the Discover It card for most of your purchases and then use the Apple card for new products and apps to get that 3% cash back and to gain access to the installment payment plan, use it to get 3% back at Uber, Uber Eats, and Exxon Mobil. If you shop at any grocery stores that accept Apple Pay, like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and Target, you'll be getting 2% back there. The average person spends about 10% of their budget on food. This card is actually great for anyone trying to build credit since it accepts 
fair credit score applicants. The more lines of credit you have and the more on-time monthly statement balance payments you make, the faster your credit score will rise. And assuming you only have one or two cards currently, adding this card will substantially raise your available credit limit, which will immediately lower your credit utilization rate. Over 30% of your credit score is calculated based on this rate. And lowering this rate is the quickest way to raise your credit score month to month. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll see you next time and you have a good one.